Hey guys, Fix It John. Uh, what I'm doing today is uh, I'm installing brackets for a uh, floating countertop. And uh, let me show you what I got going on today. Putting these 90 degree uh, brackets in, and I have my line level or my uh, laser level. So level this way, level that way. And also, the uh, laser level's right on it, too. You can see that green? That's uh, perfect right there. That's perfect. And what I'm saying is perfect is that you can see the bottom of that uh, laser just hitting the bottom of this bracket. And that's what you want to do. You want to split that laser beam in half so you can see it behind it. I also had to use a uh, shim at the bottom to tilt this up some. What I wanted to show you is we're going to put a uh, countertop in here and it's going to be a quartz countertop. And we were going to put uh, cabinets in, but we just couldn't figure out what we would put in a cabinet. The only thing we need cabinets for is that chlorine over there. And all that'll do is uh, outgas and eat these cabinets to paint off of them. But where I messed up, and uh, I would I would have fixed it, if this window was in a different spot. But you see this uh, drain channel here? Right there. Uh, this water. channel's designed so when it rains, water goes in here and down through those holes. There's a hole here and there's a hole back there. And what it does is it, it comes out of this channel here and then down onto the uh, window seal and, uh, and it drains off. So, uh, if we go with the uh, inch and an eighth countertop, that quartz, it's going to cover that up. Uh, now, that's really not that big of a deal because there's no rain getting in this uh, room. This is like a little awning. We have a awning here. So, if it was a... Uh, if it was a window like this one here, two feet in from the soffit, I would definitely have to uh, make sure the the rain uh, drained off onto the uh, window sill. I mean, if it was outside, I would definitely have to take this down here, chop it down, and uh, get it below that inch and a quarter line, inch and a fourth, so it could drain properly. But the only thing we'll have to worry about is, uh, you know, if somebody comes along unknowingly and sprays this down with a hose or something, I can still, uh, I put this zip tape in here, this flashing uh, tape. It's really good stuff, real sticky. Uh, I can just run another piece of tape over here and just over this edge here. So if any water does build up, it can come out here and out the other side because I'm gonna leave this a gap in here. These are the brackets I got. I saw them on Amazon, Starby, Made in USA, Lifetime Warranty. But they come two in a box. And I think he said uh, a pair of them hold uh, 550 pounds, something like, something like that. So they're pretty stout. You don't see any weld marks on them. I like that. You know, when I first saw them, I saw them, I was like, what, how are they holding on there? No weld marks. And the owner explained they're hidden. So boom, right there it is. Right there. They're made in USA. It's quality stuff, quality steel. They're uh, it's, uh, powder coated. And they have all, they have a bunch of different designs. This is not the only design they have. Here's the back. It looks like they split it out, split the middle out so they could bend it, do a nice 90 degree turn on it. And they're pretty stout and heavy. So uh, I like the guy. He said, uh, your money back, no BS. There it is, Starby. Still works, made in USA, lifetime warranty, easy to install. 10-inch Southern Charm. So they, they've got several different styles, and they're really nice. Uh, come two to a box. All right, guys. Uh, they also send you this uh, little hardware bag with caps on it. Let me show you how they work. Just take this here, feed it through your screw, and it runs all the way down. You cap it off. Oh, pop it. You pop it on. They give you six of these long ones, and it uh, looks like six of the short ones. 
Very fancy, just like the rich kids down the street. So all you want to do is uh, drill one hole in, and then you can adjust it. In this case, we have a concrete board, so I have a concrete bit right here. And it doesn't matter which way you put it on, this way, this way. All right, we're level here, but we're high in the front. You can see the laser here and the laser here. We need to pull that front down just a hair. So the best thing we can do is throw a shim in behind it. And we'll put it in there until we can see it. See how we're seeing it? All right, so we're only gonna put four in after all. And we're gonna put it right here because we have two by four behind here. This is perfect right there already. So what I'm going to do is uh, mark my spot. I'm going to drill. And that is, that's all the money. See how it's just barely catching that? That's perfect. I may have to shim up the back. But Got a concrete bit here. Going in at an angle because I want to get into that 2x4, and there it is. We've got a stud here. Uh, let's wind this booger up here. We're going to get one in. There's that. Level. That's about good enough for government work. Taking our screw. Going in at an angle because we want to catch that. Uh, stud in between there. There, I think that's good enough for government work there. Yeah, that's a little little bit low, guys. A tiny bit low, let's say what the, see what the level says. There's the level, guys. There's the laser. I think it's going to be uh, just a tea tiny bit low, but it's good enough. That'll flex a little bit. I'm sure. All right, guys, I put one here, and I was going to put one here, but I put a screw in here. I thought I could get into some lumber here under this window sill, but uh, it just kept missing it. So I didn't want to put uh, drywall anchors in like I did down here, up here. So I moved on over here and I put one here right on a stud and I'm going to put one right there on a stud. So I'm going to put one here and that'll be in some, uh, that'll be in a stud and it won't go anywhere. So I may put four. All right, I already marked it here. Get it pretty close, line it up, drill you a hole here. Just going through the uh, drywall so I can get into that stud. All right, that's what we like. That's good right there. That looks good, man. Tighten that up. Front to back is pretty decent. A little low again. According to that, it's perfect. So that's not bad there. Just barely catching it here on the front. Let's stand back and take a look at it. Looks pretty good. What's the sight glass say there? Not too bad. Then it goes just a little bit high. I don't think the uh, countertop's gonna make it gonna notice that at all. What the sight glass says. Not too bad. Now let me show you guys something here. That the boss thought this was a little high here because it's higher than this uh, sheetrock. But we have a high spot right here. That's what I had to go by right there. That high spot. We got one, two, three, four. 500 pounds, let's set my uh, 
tool bucket on here. It's full of tools too, so that but that sucker weighs a little bit. There it is, guys. Tell you put these brackets on. They're in the studs. These guys are countertops here. They're coming through the front door. Okay, All right, guys, I'm gonna move this cart for you. They put some uh, drain channels in the back of that for me. These are the guys that did all these countertops right here. That's heavy stuff there, guys. Perfect. Good. Very good. <laughs> A lot of work there. We appreciate all their hard work, man. These are the same guys that did our all our counters in our house. I like it, right? Yeah, beautiful. You guys, excellent. So pretty. guys all done now the water will run down through here and out the bottom if there's any water I mean uh, if this would have been an outdoor window or an outside window not under an awning I would have definitely would have had to drop that down but beautiful job by uh, by those folks so yeah if you guys live in the Pinellas County area it's uh, Empire Granite Really happy with them. They're good people. So yeah, let's take a look under this countertop. That's what it looks like, the brackets. They're all good and square. They all lined up nicely. Got a lot of weight on them. I don't know what this countertop weighs, but it sure does have some weight on it. And there it is with the furniture in front of it. So yeah, what we had before was a uh, particle board bowing. Had a big whoop there and a big whoop there. So yeah, very nice. And remember, this is Fix It John. If you like videos like this, like and subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.